Hi everybody, I'm coming to you from our porch in here in upstate New York and it is a scorcher today. Whew. It was up to 90. So we got our backyard in the background and the birds and everything, very nice. We had another community garage sale this weekend. So I'm gonna show you the things that I got and I can tell you I made out like a bandit. So why don't we just get started? Um, so some of these things that we'll have we could be at one of my live sales um, coming up and I do live sales every Sunday 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right here on Reclaim Treasures by Mary. So um, I'll just start out with this. This is a very beautiful little trinket dish. It is blue and green with the paisleys and everything. So pretty and it has the little um, flower on the inside and it is Vera Bradley my home this particular one I'm keeping because I love Vera Bradley and I thought it was kind of neat to have a Vera Bradley trinket dish and not just all the um, pocketbooks <laughs> which I love them too and I got that at a particular garage sale which also had these beautiful pins or brooches right hashtag bring back the brooch so this beautiful cameo uh pin it doesn't say who made it but it's very beautiful so that'll be in one of my upcoming live sales in this cute tiny little pin butterfly pin very delicate and then this i thought was very interesting so it has a lot of different um stones or I'm not sure what they would be like it's definitely costumey jewelry and this one says Trafari that's the only, first one I've actually seen <laughs> um, words on it so uh, I found some very nice little footed cups and there's four of them all together. There's no maker's mark to say who it is, but I just thought they were beautiful. So they all have flowers on them. And they all are a different shade of color. Like this is like a, a lavender color here. And a very pretty pink one. nothing on the bottom this one has a little chip on it but I think if it's you know flat it would be okay and this one is similar purple but it's a slightly large a lighter shade of purple <laughs> so very pretty on both sides and then this last one has a green on it with these beautiful flowers as well on both sides and they're pretty they definitely need a little cleanup. You know, they just came right from a garage sale. <laughs> so another thing, now I know this, these aren't Fenton fairy lamps, but they are Fenton bells and they are gorgeous. And they have the, they still have the Fenton sticker. And this one is beautiful. It's pink and white and green. And it reminds you of a ballerina. And it is signed here on the inside, so that's beautiful. This other one is also, um, well, I can't say it's Fenton, I don't know, but it's beautiful. And um, if you follow me on Instagram, um, I will put the black light on it and see if it glows. Take a picture. And here's the two other ones here. Beautiful Fenton bell here, I think it's Fenton. Maybe not. Nope, nope, sorry, I'm wrong. This is a Westmoreland beautiful bell with the blue. Isn't that gorgeous? And this is a beautiful Fenton bell as well. This one's gorgeous. The red with the scene all around it beautiful and it is hand painted and these are gorgeous and I got a great deal on them I don't think I spent more than five dollars on all of them all four of them 
<laughs> so, all right, so let's keep going. I got some vintage, or maybe not vintage, I don't know, some <laughs> Christmas um, greenery here. And this beautiful little four pointed um, tray. It has me, I think, a couple, I think a little chip here, but maybe a little bit of white paint would just clear that right up, right here. And this was made by Joan Chestnut in 1962. It's a Holland mold. So, very nice for Christmas time. Okay. And let's keep going. I found this nice primitive um, ribbon or, um, yes. So it says, Happy Spring. Today it feels more like Happy Summer. Whew. Went from cold and rainy to hot. Whew. Got high up to 90 today. Now these are separate um, sheet music. I have an entire box down here I have to show you too. But this was very beautiful. It says popular songs. And not only is it just, you know, sheet music, but I think it's also um, beautiful graphics in here. So it's um, more like a booklet of telling you what the different things are. Woo! So it's definitely vintage, so it's not sticking together so well. Um, Minnie the Moocher. <laughs> Look at that. So it's got a little bit of everything in here. Talks about the different artists. So it's really beautiful. Whistling in the dark. Oh, and look at that picture on the back there. Guaranteed weight reduction, 12 pounds. Oh boy. <laughs> oh goodness, right? Let's see, let's see if we can find a date here when this one was made. I don't know. Let's see. Popular songs. Hmm. Ah, 1935. Very nice. So these are from 1935. It's in pretty decent condition, but you could use it for decorating or junk journals or whatever you'd like. And then this one says orange blossom wall, orange blossoms walls. And I just think the picture on the front is gorgeous. And her little wedding dress and different sheet music here. And this is eight scenes from Songland. Now this is a good night song lullaby. And, but I just thought this was beautiful for the pictures around the outside here. So, honestly, this one has some water damage. So I was thinking of this one actually keeping this one for junk journaling. <laughs> I know, don't shoot me, right? <laughs> and I found some books. The Golden Book of Favorite Songs. So, let's see, Joy to the World. All sorts of ones. Some of them I've never heard of. When Johnny Comes Marching Home. Wow, so many awesome ones. Let's see. So this says 10-14-05. So someone wrote 10-15-05. So wow, this does go back. And actually, I think the woman that I spoke to said that it, this was her, so this collection was her mother's. So I think it's very nice. And it's still in really good condition, so you could have it as the sheet music or um, scan it, you know, if you wanted to use it. I don't know that I would want to take this apart because it's such a beautiful book. But for junk journaling, you could definitely scan the pages. You know, scan a page and print it out. Okay, and then these two were wonderful. And I can't wait. These I'm going to keep. These two next three books I'm keeping for myself. And I can't wait, you know, chance to check it out. It's Ruth Webb Lee's Handbook of Early American Pressed Glass Patterns. And this is um, definitely a vintage book because the woman, uh, I don't know exactly how old the woman was that waited on me, but she said this was her mom's. So, um, let's see. 1946. So this is from 1946. 
and it does have some beautiful pictures drawings and pictures even though they're black and white that's okay so I'll have a nice time being able to just go through and learn because I gotta brush up on my glass my clear glass items that I look at for I meant <laughs> okay so and this is another Ruth Webb Lee Victorian glass handbook so this is really nice too and there's our little chicken on the nest there and sorry guys if I'm a little whew, little not as exciting as I usually am because it was a scorcher and I was so tired I had to take a nap because <laughs> it got hot so this is 1946 so this shows all the different Victorian glass which is wonderful too so whoops <laughs> beautiful books and then this last one is antique collecting for everyone well, that's a beautiful book too and let's see by Katherine Morris McClinton so this one is obviously a little newer so let's see what year this is 1951 but it still has some great looking different pictures of the different items so it's great you know for reference you know not necessarily the pricing but for definitely for reference of something you might not know right <laughs> so it's a nice reading so and at that same sale that I got those books I found this beautiful piece of glass Oh, well, I tried to take off the sticker, but look at this frosted blue glass vase. Isn't that gorgeous? No maker's mark, so I'll have to, you know, check it out and make sure I figure out who made it. And no um, chips or cracks or anything, so it's really pretty. And this will definitely be in one of my live sales coming up. And what, did I get anything else at her sale? No, I don't think I did. So that was that one woman's sale. And um, I went around to a couple different sales today from, it was a community garage sale. Sorry about that, I'm rocking the boat here. <laughs> and then for all my strawberry lovers, I found this. Look at this, little strawberry trinket dish. Handcrafted in Japan. Oh, handcrafted ceramics serve well Japan. So. This will definitely be in one of my live sales coming up because I know my, my ladies or gentlemen that love their strawberry stuff. And I found this beautiful little um, hand painted little boot. It's the milk glass. Isn't that gorgeous? Hand painted by M. Husk right there at the bottom. Beautiful. Oh, guys, I am only just getting started. I found so many awesome things. All right, so next, this was more, actually, this was a, it may have prizes on it, but these were free. Pop culture trivia game. So I might, I'm not sure, maybe I'll sell it, but, because, or, I don't know, it's still in the package. So I don't know if I should open it and use it during the live sales, or should I just sell it because it's in the package? So I don't know, we'll see. 2016, so <laughs> it's a couple years old. So we'll see. And then this one is, what's yours like? So I'm not sure. <laughs> Interesting, I don't know. Okay, so it's kind of like, what's yours like? Like it says, laugh. Mine is uncontrollable. Mine starts at the high pitch and then gets breathy. So this one is open. So maybe I'll uh, do a couple of these during my live sales. Make it more interesting, right? Then I found some corning ware, which is nice. Always nice. This is kind of just plain Jane uh, corning ware here. A couple little dishes, not specific to a pattern or anything. Corning ware here. Okay, and there was two of those. And I'm pretty sure, actually, I think I found this in the free box at one of the sales. All right, and then I found two of the blue flowers, the corn flower one. So it's a pie dish here. Pretty, it's wonderful condition. 
Got a little smuts on the back, but the corning wear. And then this you don't see very often is a fish plate. So look at this beautiful fish plate and our platter, sorry. So isn't that gorgeous? And it has the cornflower blue on each end. So, and so that's nice. And, ugh. And then I sometimes I just get these little containers because I like to try to do like sometimes people do little collections of bottles or I make little scenes in here for the different holidays. So stay tuned for that. I wouldn't probably not right now, but all right. So these particular things here that I'm showing you came from one particular um, sale and these were like I was almost done. I was like, no, I can't stop at another garage sale. I am so tired and hot, but I'm like, no. Okay, I got a few bucks left. I think I only had like $6 left and I got these and I'm, I'm glad I stopped at this one. So, and these beautiful little um, Japanese wear or nope, Chinese, sorry, cause it says made in China, but it's the little cork. Um, they carve these things out of cork so it has the little um, cranes here and so isn't that beautiful? And it's in like this little box made in China. But I, I got this, I'm kind of partial to these cause my grandma um, used to collect these when we were growing up. This was pretty. It is a Holland, came right from Holland. <laughs> it is one of, it's a cheese slicer. So isn't that beautiful? And it says, well, it doesn't say anything, but it's, it has the picture of a Holland, of Holland, stainless steel. And, um, yep, it says Holland right on the package. And something in, um, I don't know how to speak. Oh, well, no, there you go. Don't need to, right? It says cheese slicer. Well, that's <laughs> kind of obvious, right? But this will be definitely in my live sale, one of my live sales. And that was pretty. Um, this particular person, it was an estate sale. So they had a few different um, left in pieces. Now this I thought was so cute for Easter time, right? Even though I know we're getting coming into 4th of July, but it's this little egg dish, little trinket dish. And right there, there's your left and sticker right there. Isn't that so cute? So, there we go. And let's see. And then the one reason why, no, actually I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna take the other stuff out. This is uh, Bunning the Florist. So, oh wow. So beautiful cards with the flower on the front. But then it's like, these have got to be from the 60s or 70s. Look at their graphics, thank you. <laughs> so these are pretty cool playing cards. Plastic coated, made in the USA. Let's see. Um, germ proof by Corbex, made by Brown and Bigelow. The Business Builders, Division of Standard Packaging, St. Paul, Minnesota. Pretty awesome. Oh, well, I guess they decided that they had to make the Joker into a king. <laughs> but beautiful graphics on the cards. So they must have lost a king or something. <laughs> but I just thought those were beautiful to pick up. I was like, yeah, that's so cute. Okay, sorry guys if I'm whew, a little warm out here. Oh. Okay, so let's see. Oh, and I got this other bag of Littles. And it had a whole bunch of different things, but I thought it was so cute. We have our little hobo boy or girl. <laughs> so cute little ornament. It doesn't, I don't know if it was attached to something or, but it doesn't say who made it. That's so cute. And this bag is a bunch of Littles, which I'll probably, I'll definitely sell at a sale, but I'll probably sell them all together. 
This is the cute little walrus. I don't know, it's kind of a weird, almost sand, but hard sand. It's weird. No markings at the bottom. Let's see. We have a little, I think it's Mrs. Claus. Isn't that cute? I think it was like a pick because <laughs> she's got something sticking out up there. <laughs> kind of strange, okay. Um, and the prices were so reasonable. Like this little bag of Littles was only like 75 cents. So that's why I love going garage sailing. This beautiful bear with his little, her, his, hers angel wings. So cute. And let's see, what do we have next? Oh, this little, I think it's a mouse. It looks like a mouse. Oh, so adorable. Oh my goodness. I love the Littles. And oh, here's a little jointed bear, Candy Craft. Oh, Candy Craft, that, oh, that's so cute. Okay, well, I thought, <laughs> I thought our little bear lost an arm, but he didn't. It is so cute. Candy Craft is a local uh, place here in, in the, um, near where I live, but so cute, cute little teddy bear. And let's see, oh, and we have a little baby Jesus. Look at that. So, awesome, cute little things I got from this one garage sale. And that will be definitely at one of my live sales. And let's see. I am out here in the fresh air filming, <laughs> filming a video. I have my, my sister-in-law's here today. Oh, okay guys, oh, still not ready for that yet because I want to Save the suspense of this box. All right, so here's some more littles. Now this, oops, uh-oh, lost one. Oh, no. These I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep because, oh, sorry guys. I dropped a little, little guy. <laughs> I'm not sure if I wanna keep these or not because I do wanna do those little crafts in the containers. So something like this, you know, you'd wanna maybe do, I could put the little angel in here, you know, and do a little scene with the angel. So I don't know yet, but these are so cute little wooden ornaments. So we have a little angel with a heart there and this little dude, I don't know what he's doing, sweeping the floor. And this one is kind of creepy actually. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I have to tell a little story. Now, friends that, watch my videos you probably watch misty's videos and uh you know that misty thrifter hunter vintage no Ugh. oh my goodness misty okay hates clowns hates them with a passion i found at this sale here an entire bag of clown heads i was like mm, no no you can keep them but i was like oh no but so this kind of reminded me of that Oh, goodness. Hi, guys. Up close and personal. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> uh, my sister-in-law didn't realize those were holding my tripod down. <laughs> Woo. Okay. It's okay. All right. And then this little guy. Oh, I guess he's a clown, too. Oh, sorry. I can't get away from him, right? Clowns everywhere. And then this little... I am not sure. <laughs> I think it's a purse sled, but what is that? Is that a llama or what the heck is that? Oh goodness. <laughs> He's got quite the hairdo going on there. Oh my goodness. All right, guys. So here, as we say, is the piece de resistance, right? <laughs> well, now I will show you these and then I will show you the price. Holy moly. Okay, so this one is, yeah, this one says made in Taiwan. Yeah, it's a fairy lamp, right? Made in Taiwan, so that's okay. It's still a fairy lamp, frosted. I probably gotta give it a little um, bath, definitely. But are you ready for these prices? 50 cents, oh, 50 cents for a fairy lamp. I was like, okay, you know, not the best, made in Taiwan kind of thing. And then 
there was this second one. I was like, are you kidding me? Look at this one. Oh my goodness, guys. So pretty. It does definitely need, you know, a little bit of, I gotta wash them up. But look at this. Now, okay, so that's two fairy lamps. Then, right around the corner from that one was this one. And this one was only a quarter. I was like, oh my God, I can't believe it. So three fairy lamps. I am so glad I stopped because I was really thinking of not stopping at this sale because I was the end and I was just worn out. So that I definitely made a killing on this stuff. Whew. Well, I'm about 25 minutes in, so but I just have so much awesome stuff. I got to keep going. All right. So that was at one sale. And well, this combination of a couple sales, but the fairy lamps I got at that one sale. This next sale, I definitely got to show you some awesome stuff I got there. So I got this Holland and it is Delft. A Delft Holland trinket dish. Look at this. It's great shape. It just needs a little bath. Look at that. And this is the one I wanted to show you guys because this was an awesome sale. I found so many um, different ephemera stuff. So this, there's some postcards and all sorts of things. Now I have to look through them a little closer, but I'm thinking majority of this stuff's going to be in a live sale. Or if you want to message me, if you find something that you like, you could always message me and let me know that you'd like this. Um, but I have a certain kind of junk journaling, um, I guess themes that I like. So I'm not branching out into some of these more, um, you know, realistic, uh, I like the butterflies and the fairies, more that Victorian kind of thing. But, so this is the Pine Room at the Old e Egremont Tavern in Massachusetts. So this is beautiful. And then here's another one. This is um, Montauk Island Club in Star Island, Montauk, Long Island. Okay, if anybody's a Stranger Things fan, you know, Montauk's project. But they're based off of this one says American Scenery, Washington, D.C. So this is one of those cards that goes into those, um, the things you have the double scene, you know, and I can't think of what they're called, but <laughs> so isn't that beautiful? So you'll have, they're always double. Okay. This says, uh, album souvenir Reims. I'm th I know I might be French. So. My French is not so great anymore. <laughs> I know I took French in high school. It didn't do me much good. <laughs> so let's see. Yes, this is definitely. So it has a lot of different um, postcards from France. Um, there's Notre Dame. And uh, let's see. Lots of beautiful things. And these have never been used. So let's see. We'll just get to the get some of the yes these are all definitely in Paris oh there's the statue of Joan of Arc okay and let's see this is France it's got to have the Eiffel Tower or maybe maybe not I don't know huh so let's see I don't know maybe this was before that hmm. it doesn't give a year but they are beautiful. And these were definitely going to be in a live sale because I, this is not something I collect. So, me lucky friend there. Then we have some beautiful works of um, art. And we have this lovely lady here. Isn't she beautiful? And it's just a plain, you know, um, I don't know if it's a print it's got it's you know it's a little worse for the wear it's got a couple little spots and right, now there's gonna the bugs are coming out now right <laughs> so that's beautiful and there was a couple of fans and looks like 
the spiders were a fan of the fan <laughs> and um oh yes cool bargain breeze rose through the stores of morris uh genus doldsville now that's doldsville is here in new york so there's a beautiful lady and doldsville doldsville there is a doldsville here in new york so very pretty and that was a beautiful fan there and then this one is another beautiful piece of artwork um oh i was trying to figure out how to get it out of the packaging <laughs> so this has seen better days but beautiful picture very royal looking it's like a little girl in a frame but it's not a real frame so very pretty and let's see here's another one very beautiful fan and this says oh well worth fifth five and ten lunch ladies and gents fulton street troy new york wow troy new york that's where i grew up my first 14 years of life was in Troy, New York. So isn't that awesome? Hmm. This one I might have to definitely keep <sighs> and use right now. <laughs> but it's very beautiful. And I wonder if this was Woolworths too. So, oh, uh, it came off because it says Vic or copyright 190 something down there at the bottom. It's like copyright what? <laughs> So that one, I don't know. That one might not leave the premises. <laughs> this was beautiful as well. Other Victorian items. Now I paid up a little bit for this, but I thought definitely it was okay. Oh, look at all these. Phil Phillips born the Outer Garment House, Chicago. Fall and winter 1911 and 12. Wow. Just the cover and the back. Oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, the outfits on the inside. Oof. This one and oh, the skirts. Oh, how beautiful. Mm, this one I'll have to take a look, see through and maybe definitely give these a scan. This book is in excellent condition, so I think. So it would not be something I would want to cut up but definitely a good scan. So that's gorgeous as well. Now, the piece de resistance from this sale, whew, I think is the best purchase I made all day. This is a gorgeous vintage album. It's like a velvety color, like a red velvet. It does have, you know, the clasp is broken but look at that. And then the beautiful items on the inside. Oh, just the album, just where it says album. Look at that, that is gorgeous, gorgeous. Then you come into the, um, the index. Then we have, I'll pull this one out because this one, I don't know what the heck they did, but it didn't fit. But look at these cards and it's Troy, New York. So that's, that's definitely where I grew up. I don't know why this one must have been broken because they, that shouldn't have been in there. But here's a postcard. Oh, such beautiful pictures here. And even just the frame itself, the frames, oh, it's gorgeous. All the gentlemen and the young boy and Oh, look at this young boy here and the gentleman and everything. Ah, oh, so beautiful. I don't know. I could probably leave a comment in the, the description box if you'd like me to do um, a more in-depth uh, ephemera uh, look at them. And we'll see. But that was just, oh, I just couldn't believe it. It's wonderful. I did pay a little more, whew, pay a little more at that sale, but that's okay. Cause I got some wonderful items. 
that was also the sale that I got the jewelry and the Vera Bradley box. So, okay. Whew, we're getting there. <laughs> I got a couple more. This one sale I stopped at where I got the cups, I forgot to show you. I also got this bag, which I guess I was meant to be because look, it says Mary on it. <laughs> right there. It's not Vera Bradley, but I just thought maybe, you know, it could be a thing to, you know, go garage selling with. It's in a little bit of rough shape, so. <laughs> but hey, meant to be, right? Has my name right on it. Okay. And let me show you a couple more things. And then, whew, friends, I am fading fast over here. <laughs> I won't show it all to you, but or individually, but I got this entire box of sheet music oof, for $4. So let's see what kind of things we got in here. Hmm. Oh, here you go. What we definitely need, right? Songs for the ukulele. <laughs> I haven't even had a chance to check these boxes out, so I could definitely do that. Um, I haven't seen exactly what's in here, but some wonderful sheet music. Let's see. Some is worse for the wear. Let's say tonight's my night with baby. Oh boy. So if you would like, I can do a separate video going through all the um, sheet music and like the ephemera sheet music and, and the pictures and stuff. So. Oh, okay. Whew. And we have one more sale that I went to today. And this is a sale that I love going to this guy. He has, it's almost like a personal little flea market right at his house. So, sorry guys. Mm, yes, definitely be done with this because, whew, I am melting. Whew. All right, so we'll go through this kind of quickly. So I got some fabric here. Look at these, the deer. And he has these little boxes that are always like, whatever you get in there, it's a dollar. Some more doilies. I definitely, I'm going to do a linen video too, coming up soon. But I just got so, so many amazing things this weekend I wanted to show you. So beautiful linens. There's a whole bag of linens here. I won't take, oh, isn't that cute for Christmas time and some other little ones. Lots of doilies. And I, this is just from this sale. I have got a couple other sales that I have. This is kind of interesting lace here. Look at that. Actually, I think it might've been a collar. So, and this kind of cool too. These are like those little um, yo-yos they call them, I think. So really awesome stuff in this bag. So I'll do probably more of an in-depth one. And what's crazy is that I still have to do a haul from the last time this guy had a sale. So <laughs> and these, I'm not sure what I, I'm curious. I got to see what these are. <laughs> huh? They're very interesting. They're like little doilies or I'm not sure maybe coasters because it kind of comes in the middle there so that's kind of interesting so I'll definitely have to do a, a linen video and just on all the linens I've collected recently okay so let's see he had a whole bunch of vintage frames and all these a dollar like the whole bag would have been a dollar. So, and some more beautiful little shoes, you know, for our air plants and whatnot. And this is a little ashtray from Sterling Forest. So it says made in McGill, South Africa. So that's beautiful. And then some beautiful hankies. And we have Santa salt and pepper made in Taiwan. They're cute. This salt is a little worse for wear, but you know, for decorations. And then we found some little tiny little um, 
Okay, well those Santas are a tad bit creepy. Maybe they were for lights or something. <laughs> oh, very pretty. We're almost done, guys. We have one more little bag and then this Miss Mary needs to go into the air conditioning. Whew. So, <laughs> now all this stuff that I'm showing you here, the linens, the basket of stuff, and this bag, $15 for everything. And that's why I love going to this guy. When I saw him, that he was having a sale, I was like, oh, definitely. Whew. Gotta go. Whew. Okay. So, oh, pink depression glass beautiful pink depression glass bowl it has one chip one little chunky missing out here but other than that it's in really great shape except for the little chunk there sorry this one is the dutch oven cookbook this one i am keeping because i'm giving it to my son my son steven is wonderful dutch oven cooker he um actually went to a dutch oven uh weekend Dutch oven cooking weekend where they you know had a contest and he came in second place among the adults even this was a few years ago so he does wonderful stuff with the Dutch oven cooking so so oh my well um let's see hmm <laughs> I need a little hanky here to cover up our little friend here in the front so I don't get any troubles. <laughs> I just grabbed all the photos together. So it is the world famous Latin Quarter in New York. Um, so you probably understand why I'm covering her up. <laughs> and this is a souvenir photo, $2.50, oh my goodness. And here they are enjoying a little cocktail, a little, but I can't show you that side. Oh, <laughs> I just grabbed the whole pile of pictures. So honestly, I didn't see the, um, the little lady there. <laughs> so this says, um, from Gloversville and which is also in New York here. And this is just beautiful. Oh, look at those beautiful um, portrait of this woman. I love how how they do that. And then this that was like a sepia tone one, and this is more like just a black and white. And just the the cover it's in is gorgeous too. So then this is the first time I'm seeing these photos as well, because I just grabbed the whole photo. Oh, here we have the mom and dad and the little baby. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And these vint I love these vintage um, holders. Let's see, what's next? Uh, this is another studio. Uh, I'm not gonna try the name. I'll show. <laughs> if you can figure out the name. But this is Albany, Saratoga, New York. Oh, guess what? It's our lady friend again. Look at that. It's a duplicate of her. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, we just saw you. But the frame is beautiful, the portfolio there. All right, let's see. Portrait by Robert Lewis, Gloversville. Oh, wow, this is gorgeous. Look at her in her wedding dress. Oh my goodness. So beautiful, October 4th, 1964. Ooh, all right. Oh, wow. Here's another double wedding. Look at that. Now, this frame is a little worse for wear. Ooh. I think somebody tried to take it out of there. <laughs> but very pretty. Whoa. Losing it. <laughs> all right. Got a couple more. Oh my goodness, this is going to be a ridiculously long video. Whew. Oh, some more wedding pretty pictures. Oh, someone, yep, Gloversville. That's in here in New York. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Okay. Oh, one, one more of these and then just 
few more little trinkety things here and then we will call it a, oops, we will call it a day. Oh, look at that, another double wedding. Unless that was the same wedding from before, but look at that. So these will definitely be for sale at one of my live sales. Um, I just think those are gorgeous. And let's see, a little, one more bag and then we're gonna call this video done because I'm done, right? Put a fork in me, I am done. <laughs> so this one is more uh, lace and fabric. So it's a whole bag of different laces, white, fuchsia pink, pink and black. Look at all these little beauties. Yellow, green, so many beautiful colors. And then there's another one. We gotta have, we have purple and turquoise and all sorts of pretty trims and stuff. And then this is another one. I got a whole nother bag of um, Littles. Now this bag, $5. Originally, yeah, I was just looking to see and I thought, well, maybe there's some Wade Whimsies in here. Cause I got a, that big gigantic bag. If you saw that one, I had gotten from this gentleman. But what made me want to pick it up, and it's going to take a minute or two to get to it. Let's see. Is that this cute little deer says it's a Joseph original. Look at that. So adorable. I was like, oh, so many cute little things. So let's see, I gotta show you this one. It's like a little, it reminds you of Bambi and Thumper. <laughs> and this little goat and this birdie, this birdie's from Japan. Yep, so, and a pheasant. All sorts of cute things. Oh, here's another little goat. All right, I gotta do this quickly because my son just got a <laughs> raccoon. Let's see, made in Peru, a starfish. Look at all these cool things. Froggies, I like your froggies. And bunnies, let's see. Oh, giraffe. What other things? Lots of, um, oh, here's a horse. That might be, no, maybe not. There we have a little horse. And a raccoon that looks like it could kill you. <laughs> Look at these red eyes. <laughs> Whoa, he's possessed. Okay, sorry, that's bad. A uh, little floppy bunny. Camel. Let's see. A deer, oh, the little antlers broke off, but still really cute. Let's see, squirrel, squirrel. Uh, we have a bunch of little deers here. So little baby deer. And then we have our other goat. Maybe this is the goat mama lying down. So we have our little goat family there. Let's see what else we have here. Oh dear, well, I don't, I think it's a bunny or a kangaroo or something, but he's missing some parts. Poor little guy's part of his tail's broken and his leg, <laughs> but he's made in Japan. All right, let's see. I'm almost done here because I didn't realize this one was going to be so long. And this was just from today, Saturday. So, okay, there's another owl and another little turtle turtle. No, I didn't show you the first turtle. This little turtle, I don't know if he's what his problem is, but <laughs> he um, must have been on a back turtle because he looks kind of weird if you put him down like this. So cute little green turtle and another, uh, I think it's a deer, but he's missing a leg and a little, I don't know what that is. <laughs> That's plastic. Oh, here's another cute little bun bun. Another cute little bunny and another deer. So cute. And last but not least, a little tiny baby deer. Okay, guys. Well, these things will, most of this stuff will be at a live sale um, every Sunday, 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Um, right here on Reclaim Treasures by Mary. But I don't know if you can see, I am a melting away here in the heat in New York. Whew. 
So I will call it a day. And if you like what you see, give a thumbs up, subscribe if you want, and stay tuned for more awesome videos coming of all the fun stuff I've been finding recently. So bye guys.